All right, here we go. The snare drum's off for a little bit of clarity. <laughs> do is tie two of John Bonham's drum riffs together and I'm going to equate this to uh, the riff in four sticks which is basically the beat of the song and uh, the Bo Diddley riff in the song remains the same Moby Dick okay we'll start off with four sticks and what you've just seen there was just two of them tied together okay now uh, four sticks uh, if you're just learning this riff, it's relatively easy, and it's just uh, right left with the hi-hat on one, and the bass drum on N. And you want to practice it, you can go around your kit just doing that. that. Now, then what you do is it's just basically kind of like you're you're actually playing a beat on your cymbal. Okay, just like that, except we're going to play the, the rhythm on the toms. Okay. I get a little bit carried away. I'm excited. It's pretty fun, right playing bottom. So, four sticks. Okay, so that's that's my interpretation of four sticks. All right, now the Bo Diddley riff on uh, the song remains the same, okay? <laughs> So Bonham had this really cool thing where it was right hand, left foot, left hand, right foot. We're going to do the riff with the hi-hat. And it's just basically a triplet. Okay. Single strokes, nothing fancy. Now we're going to do it and we're going to add the bass on the left hand. So, if you're learning this riff, and hey, let me tell you, this is, this, my brain is wired to this riff, and I'm going to give you an example. I've done a video, a short little video, of an introduction to a Judas Priest song, and uh, it is, gosh, I'm, I'm wrecking myself over this one, uh, Exciter, okay? And um, in that introduction, what I do is when I play that, it's, it's right hand, left foot. I can't do a double bass rhythm where I'm, I'm going right hand, right foot, and I'm my left foot on N. And I just can't do it. It's impossible. Um, and, it, and it goofs me up almost to the point where I can't play a double bass without, um, like I'm keeping a rhythm or um, a double bass pattern as, as the beat of the, the song and I try to do a roll. Man, it goofs me up sometimes and I just can't do it. Okay, so enough of that. Um, anyway, so here we go. Um, right hand, left foot, left hand, right foot. And then just start mixing it up and, and just figure out little, little transitions that you can do in that roll. Okay. So with that, you can do this, you can master it. Now when you're soloing, um, my advice back in the day um, when I was clubbing and soloing and doing things, um, look at a drum solo kind of like as if you're writing a book. And within that book you have chapters. So we're gonna call your chapters your, your meat and potatoes, okay? So chapter one, you know, you're gonna open with this. Um, chapter two, you're gonna, you know, diverse or transgress into this. You know, and I've always equated the drum solo as kind of like a roller coaster, right? A high and a low. Okay, so, and that's kind of what you want to take your, your audience on, you know? Uh, of course, you want to show off to, to, to drummers, but you also want to entertain um, just regular folks who, who want to appreciate a drum solo, and not everybody does. So it's kind of your job to 
to not slay them, not overwhelm them, um, but to to open that book is kind of like, uh, you know, here you go, okay? And we can do short stories, we can do medium long stories, or we can do like epic stories, <laughs> okay? So um, with that, everybody be cool. Thanks so much for watching my videos. Um, for those of you on Drummers Who Love John Bonham, even if you're not a drummer, I'm so grateful that you guys are with me and um, it's just, it's such a thrill, you know? Uh, we're just here to celebrate John Bonham, okay? And that's all this is about. So everybody, thanks so much and uh, hang in there. I'm sorry I don't get to everybody's posts, um, but you know, I see them. Um, just God bless you people and thanks so much. Everybody take care, bye.